So here's my survival guide for when you're locked out. <laughs> Hi, how are you? That's nice. Will this ever not be awkward? I don't know. Anyways, I'm just gonna get straight into it. The other day I got locked out of my house. It was a 25 minute experience during which some lessons were learnt, some notes were taken, and some thoughts were made. In that order, probably not. During this time, I had a lot of time to reflect and also feel a strong yearning for my camera. Why? Because I wanted to film this moment, you know, document it, share it with you guys and upload it onto the internet for the world to see. I'm a millennial, what can I say? Like honestly, if I don't feel myself getting locked out, did I really get locked out? Now, before we get into my survival kit guide for when you're locked out, let me give you the backstory. I just returned from brunch uh, and I knocked on the door ready to jump back into bed as soon as I'd been let in and no one answered the door. That's when it dawned on me the house was eerily quiet. There were no cars in the driveway. I was alone. My family was definitely out. I had been stranded, deserted, isolated, the whole lot. But you know, I think to myself, it's chill though. I'll just call one of my family members and see where they're at they're ready to come home and let me back in maybe uh, except when I reached into my pocket and pulled out my phone I realized it was dead this wasn't a huge surprise uh, my phone battery has the same lifespan as the memory of a goldfish so so you know whilst I waited I did some things like I said lessons were learnt so when I got back into the house, finally, I felt this urgent need to recreate the whole scenario for you guys, except this time there's a twist. We're doing it my way. So here's my survival guide for when you're locked out. <laughs> Number one, a phone. Preferably one that has some charge on it. With this little guy, you can contact people, including the emergency services. This is literally one of the thoughts I had whilst I was outside. As I was sitting on the front porch, there was this bee like buzzing past and I was thinking to myself, what if this bee bit me and I had an allergic reaction? Like, I wouldn't be able to call an ambulance for myself. Like, I would... Not having a phone on you is dangerous. Today's society is brutal. The bees, they're cute, but they can be brutal. <laughs> Number two, a drink bottle. That water's really old. There's probably like E. coli growing in there. When I was locked out, it was about 30 degrees out. It was midday exactly. So the sun was out. I was getting dehydrated quickly. I could feel the headache coming on. I didn't know how long I was going to be out there in the wild. I was like, wow, we better get some water. Now, I didn't think to try turning on the hose pipe. That was literally right in front of me as I was sitting out there uh, instead you know I'm a thinker I'm resourceful it clicked in my mind hey there's like free water at the park you can just go to the local park and drink some water from the drink taps so that's what I did I hiked over to get some water now uh, fast forward to that the water was super warm and gross <laughs> and probably had a lot more bacteria growing in it than this guy. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Number three, a scooter. Now, <laughs> now, sorry the footage is so shaky, I did my best. During my hike up to the park, I was thinking in my head, wow, it'd be super nice if I had a scooter or a bike or something with me, some form of wheels, you know, to speed up the trip, uh, get to my water sources quicker. Maybe I could have just run, but I also, <laughs> yeah. So this time we're gonna scooter there. Number four, a safety vest. Uh, why do we want a safety vest? Well, Whilst I was en route to the park and whilst I was at the park, a lot of cars were driving past. Any of those could have been 
one of my family members and they probably wouldn't have saw me as they were speeding past you know in the comfort of their cars unlike me who was out in the literal wild fending for myself against the bees and the bugs and so yeah this time I could wear this in the park or anywhere I was and be seen you know be visible even though I feel like every car that was driving past was probably judging me because they knew I was locked out and I'm 19 and I should have my own house keys but I don't because no one in my house thinks I'm worthy enough to have my own house keys because I don't leave the house and even my little brother has house keys but it's fine you know it's chill it's Gucci we're all good be flashy be sick number five a hat Whilst I was at the park, I was on the swing set and the, the view above me was super lovely uh, except it was just quite unfortunate that I couldn't really fully enjoy my moment there because it was just so hot and I felt like I was burning, I felt like I was on fire and not in a good way. Like I said, 30 degrees midday, we're in Australia, the UV rays are glaring down so a hat was pretty important, some form of sun protection, so a hat. Number six is a book. Just something to pass the time because I was bored very quickly and I didn't know what else to do. Dumb little, stupid little dumb dumb. Once I got home and I was sitting on the front because I couldn't spend the whole day at the park. What if someone arrived at home and they didn't see me at the park? You know, I didn't have my safety vest, did I? So we have a book this time. Number number seven is a camera. I think it's literally probably from since I was born. Anyway, like I said before, if I didn't record it, did it ever happen? No. So, you know, we want a camera to, to document the whole situation. And finally, number eight, house keys. I wouldn't have been in this mess if I had my own set of house keys. Now, I still don't have my own set. Uh, my dad considered getting me a set, but then he's, he hasn't gotten back to me on that yet. So I'm thinking I'm never going to get my own set. Because really, my family knows that I barely ever leave the house and therefore I don't need house keys apparently. What can you do? So that's my survival kit. <laughs> so annoying, okay. That's my survival kit for when you're locked out of the house. Probably wouldn't happen to you, but it's happened to me and it's probably gonna happen to me again. Honestly, I don't mind though, because with this kit, I want to be locked out again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Bye!